Hey, what's up? It's Dr. Toby here. I want to share with you an important hack and tip for healthy living and also staying consistent in your health and fitness journey, whether you're somebody who wants to be able to lose weight, get in shape, or just live a healthy life consistently because you have maybe particular health considerations that you know make it challenging for you to be able to live a healthy life, but also live an enjoyable life where you can do all the things that you love to do, like going on vacation, having a good time, being at social events, going to parties, weddings, doing different kinds of things, and being able to feel like you can be free while still living a healthy life. So I want to show you an important thing today and give you a hack for how to eat healthily and consistently on a vacation. So one of the things that's challenging for people is like when they're trying to make progress in the fitness journey, whether it's losing weight, getting rid of body fat, toning their body, they struggle because the circumstances of life that are not always consistent, like you know maybe you go out of town for some time or other things are going on, that kind of interrupts our consistency with our eating habits and how we eat. And one of the things that happens is we start to feel guilty because it's like, oh man, I'm not being consistent. I'm gonna make a whole totally uh, different video on how to actually overcome guilt and why you shouldn't feel guilty about the way that you eat. But number one, when you are on vacation, you gotta understand something, especially when it comes to dealing with any kind of inconsistency in your life that can uh, rob you of being consistent in the areas that you need to be consistent in, like health and fitness. The number one solution that you need to realize is you have to learn what healthy eating actually is. When you actually learn what healthy eating is, it'll help you to leverage all situations, circumstances, and opportunities. So let me give an example. Now, I'm not on vacation, but let me show you something. One of the things that people find problematic is when they're on uh, you know, a particular diet or whatever the case may be, they feel like eating fast food is a problem. But what I wanna show you is that the value, forgive my hands, they're ashy, but the value of learning what healthy eating looks like will help you to avoid the misconceptions that a lot of people fall into. So I got some uh, food outdoors, it's fast food, but let me show you what I got here. I have some eggs, cucumber, broccoli, salad at the bottom, and I have some steak. Now, a couple things, eggs great for protein, I have some uh, unrefined carbs, got my uh, broccoli, carrots, great for eye health, uh, some avocado, great healthy fat, as well as some kale, and then I got steak, which is great for uh, not only protein, but also some of uh, the um, iron uh, things that we need to uh, supplement in our body. So uh, what is the point here, right? I'm gonna enjoy this meal, it's gonna be really great. But one of the things that people think about when it comes to healthy eating is they think they have to eat less, but eating more can actually help you. Why? Especially if you're trying to lose weight. If you're eating, number one, uh, food of a certain quality in terms of it has dense nutrients and uh, it has less calories, you can actually eat more of a particular food without increasing your caloric intake. And so this is why learning is the most important thing so that you're not living under a misconception and you can leverage the truth and the true facts of what healthy eating actually looks like to not only stay enjoying your food and your relationship with food, but being able to enjoy all circumstances in life that you find yourself. So maybe you're on vacation or you're traveling a lot. Well, if I've learned what healthy eating actually entails, right? What is the kind of lifestyle? What are the foods that are healthy or not healthier? So that even when I go to a restaurant or when I go to fast food, I know what I can order so that not only, not only do I stay consistent in my eating habits, but I'm able to enjoy the moment and the situation and the circumstance that I find myself in. This is super important, and this is why in our GAP program, our Guaranteed Accountability program, we don't just help people to lose weight, we teach them how to lose and how to keep it off for good. And so if you're somebody who's like, man, I really want to be able to uh, learn how to eat healthily and eat consistently, no matter the inconsistencies that I find myself having to live through in life, whether it's traveling a lot for work or whether it's going on vacation at a certain time or whether it's going to social events, I want to be able to enjoy myself and not feel, I'm so re feel like I'm so restricted or feel like living a healthy life or eating uh, healthily is at odds with living an enjoyable life, then I encourage you to check out our GAP program. You can hit the link in the description or follow the instructions in the description to get more information about our GAP program where we help you to not only get a 90 day plan to lose the weight off, but how to keep it forever off and how to be able to you know, lose inches from your waist, build strength, tone your body and feel stronger and better than you ever had before, having more energy and really just being able to be your best self and become that version of yourself that you're satisfied with, right? So I wanna encourage you to leverage learning, start learning what does it actually look like to live a healthy life? Don't just say, oh, I wanna live a healthy life. I wish I was healthier. What does that look like? What does that mean? What are the foods that you eat? What do they do to your body? 
first discover and learn what are the foods that you commonly like to eat and what are those foods doing to your body that's the first thing you need to learn number two you need to learn um, what would alternative versions of that food look like that are healthier and then how much of those foods could you consume to be able to maintain your health and fitness goals or you know stay in line with the goals that you're trying to achieve so hopefully this makes sense and hopefully this is helpful but i want to encourage you to number one like this video if you found it helpful leave a comment on the video of what was most helpful for you or eye-opening then number three subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all the videos that we make to help you stay healthy pain-free fit and mobile excuse the noise in the background i just wanted to get this message out to you to help you to understand that you can actually live a healthy and enjoyable life while still being in alignment with your fitness goals. So if you found this video helpful, share with somebody else so that they can benefit from it. Can't wait to see you in the next video and subscribe to our channel. See you later.